this video uh, we are not going to do much we are just going to create a cloud front distribution so i'm just going to show you how you can create a cloud front distribution and going forward we are going to use that same distribution to work on other advanced concept in cloud formation so right now you can see i'm in my aws console uh, before we go to CloudFront, I want to show you that what I've done is I've created an S3 bucket called CloudFront Files bucket and this is the bucket which I'm going to use as my origin in CloudFront. So let's just go to CloudFront. So this is what the console looks like and since you don't have any distribution, since I don't have any distribution running, you can see it's blank. So what I'm going to do is click on create distribution and you can see you will get two options. So first is web and the second one is RTMP. So let's see what they are. So AWS has given a complete brief of what they are. So you can just read it here that create a web distribution. If you want to speed up the distribution of static and dynamic content, Distribute media files over HTTP or HTTPS. Add, update, delete object or submit data forms. Use live stream. So this is basically for, I mean, majorly used if you're serving a website over uh, HTTP or HTTPS. So you'll prefer using web distribution. Let's come to RTMP. Create an RT RTMP distribution to speed up distribution of your streaming media using Adobe Flash Media Player Servers RTMP protocol. So RTMP basically is a protocol. So when you use RTMP, basically you give user the media file as well as the player. So the media player. So you must have seen some in some application the media player gets downloaded and the media file is played using that uh, media player, right? So that's what RTMP is. So you can see AWS also telling us that it's discontinuing RTMP distribution on 31st of December this year. So most probably we'll get rid of this and we'll be only having web distribution. So for this example also, I'm going to use web distribution. So let's just click get started. And this is a pretty big form which you need to fill to create uh, a CloudFront distribution. So first thing you need to tell your origin. So as soon as you click, you can see it gives you a drop down menu. So now what I'm going to select is my bucket here since i don't have any origin path like i don't i have not created any uh, prefixes in my s3 bucket so i'll leave it as blank origin id i'll leave it as is uh, for this example i'll not restrict bucket access so i'll leave these settings as is moving forward let's go to so this is very important viewer protocol so let's see what it is so if you want CloudFront to allow viewer to access your web content over HTTP or HTTPS. So this allows HTTP and HTTPS both. So you can see there are three options. So either you can redirect HTTP to HTTPS or you only allow HTTPS. So the, these are these. This is what defines the HTTP verbs which are allowed. So right now it's getting ahead by default. If you want, you can select the other two options as well. But for this example, I'm going to stay with get and head. These are some advanced setting, which I don't want to touch over right now. We'll go down and there's one more setting, which I want to show you is the TTL. So you can see minimum TTL, maximum TTL and default TTL. So you can just read what they are. These are basically the time which you want your object to stay in the cache for. So default is 24 hours, like I told you, you can see 86400, these are basically seconds. So this comes to 24 hours. Going down, these are not important. So Lambda function association. So there's a thing in CloudFront called Lambda at edge. So which basically you can execute Lambda function on your edge location. So you can perform various tasks. So we'll cover that uh, a little bit. When we'll talk about lambda at edge so what all you can do with lambda at edge so for now i don't have any lambda function and i don't want to perform any action as well so i'll go down distribution settings so whether you want to use all the edge locations or you want to use the edge locations of any particular region so you can select that for now i'll leave it at all edge locations i don't want to put any waf in front of my cloud front so you can do that even if you have a waf aws waf I don't have any alternate domain and 
I am going to use the default SSL cert which is provided by CloudFront. So I'm, I don't have any uh, my SSL certificate. So I'm going to use the default. If you have your own custom SSL cert, you can use that as well. These are basically some HTTP settings like what version of HTTP it's going to support, whether you want to log or the, so let's see what it's logging. Select whether you want CloudFront to log viewer requests. Yeah, so you can log viewer request. Bucket logs, no, I don't want bucket logs, log prefix, no, cookie logging, no. So uh, CloudFront supports IPv6, so you can see it's enabled for IPv6. And distribution state is enabled. This is, when distribution state is enabled, CloudFront processes viewer request of for the content associated with the distribution. Okay, so this is nothing uh, rocket science. So these, are, so you can see we haven't put anything much, just uh, the, the origin name. That was important and apart from that i've used all the custom uh, settings so i'm just going to do create distribution and this is going to take some time so this will take around 15 minutes to come up so i'm going to pause the video and come back when this distribution is up so welcome back guys and our distribution is deployed now so you can see that the status has changed to deployed so let me just go inside it this one thing I'm looking for is here, yeah, yeah, the domain name. So this is basically the domain name which you get from CloudFront and you can use this as a CNAME for your own do domain name if you have, suppose if you have www.example.com, so you can create this as a CNAME for your domain. And so now next what I'm going to do is, uh, so in S3 bucket which we created, I put a file called aws.png okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to see if i'm able to access this file via this cloudfront distribution so let's grab this dns name let's go to another tab let's put this aws.png and let's see so you can see i'm able to view my png file which i put in so that's great so that means our distribution is working as it should have uh, i think i have this much only for this video so now i've shown you how you can create your own distribution you can just go and try your hand on it try to create one distribution and this is the distribution which we'll use in the coming lectures. So I'll leave it as is. And I hope you like this video. And please subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.